you can also check if you are um, adding margin to it you can check this way now the margin for the like i said earlier the margin for this particular text ed um, heading rather not text heading is the normal heading not even text editor rather so you always click on this pen so the margin you can say minus i just want you guys to see how effective the margin is can you see can you see it goes up if i say zero it goes to normal so this blue is for this colon this blue line here is for this colon for colon colon if i want to edit colon so this pen is for the heading as you can see if i click it it will change here it will change to edit colon if i click here it changes to edit heading if i click here it changes to edit section so section is the first layer as you can see section is the first layer column lies on the section then the elements which is the heading lies on the column so i i hope you guys understand that so i'm still working on the heading so the margin now if i say 50 i've already showed you guys this can you see 50 so margin is like outer spacing so you know i'm working on the margin for this text and i, I added 50 i added 50 to the margin then this outer spacing become visible the column become visible to the top now let me work on padding for you guys to see the padding would happen inside this red um red background which is for the um what's it called for the element heading so now let you guys will see just notice can you see top it's happened here it's happened inside top if i say right can you see it's happened it's happened here it's happened here if i remove it it go, goes back to normal can you see if i remove this one the top for the top padding here if i remove it it goes back to normal can you see it can you see it guys so that's how it works for the margin as well let me say i want to hard margin i'm still working on this um heading elements the adding elements so let me say i want to add bottom margin which is bottom outer spacing i can say 50 like this can you see let me say i want to add to the right 50 it might not be visible until i enlarge the screen let me add to the left 50 can you see it can you see it well, let me return it back let me remove from left 50 can you see can you see the effect from the right 50 it removed it so that's how the margin works and the padding you can also say minus pad uh, um, you can minus your outer spacing you can minus the outer spacing minus i'm trying to check if my speaker is still connected you can minus the outer spacing let me remove all these ones let me remove these ones so i can say minus 100 you know if i had minus then that means this the margin would have to cross um, beyond this blue line to the top let me see top minus 50 can you see that means the minus is indicating this element i'm adding margin to it and the margin is going beyond its boundary minus its boundary so it has crossed its boundary to the um, column boundary you understand so the same thing applies to the angle let me let me even link it 50 can you see it covers up because i've added minus 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 it widens to the left right up down so that it covers up the column which is the blue so let me remove it so it can be visible again can you see this is the color the blue this um red is the background for the text 
the text is this this is the text here this is the text so now let me work on the column this tiny blue i want to increase it so for me to work on the col column i'll have to click on this like this like this so it has changed to a this column now i'll go to advanced can you see advanced i've already added 50 50 if i remove it now it's it goes away can you see it it goes away so let me add um let me add 50 back to it uh okay so 50 let me first part to the top you remember i said this thing is for linking so if i say 50 like this 50 appears in all the boxes right bottom left but if i turn it back to if i return it back to zero then i unlink the edges if i say let me add margin to the top then the, it only takes effects to the top let me say 50. so once once i'm able to you know remember i said margin is for outer spacing so if i had hopper margin to this blue line that means it will have to come down and then if it comes down you know this blue is already covering the background i added for the section the background i added for the section so if i want to make the background i added for the section visible now i would have to do what i would have to include margin to this column like this let me say 50 to the top can you see it so you will not know you will never know that there is color beneath beneath it you won't know so that means whatever you want to for example if you want to add an image to this section rather than this um black um color let's say you want to use an image that means you either remove these colors or you had margin to the column you either remove the column at completely you remove it completely remove this blue color you know the blue color is for the column you remove it completely or you pad it um, you had margin to it rather so that the section can be visible that's the black area let me see if all around can you see is visible so this background now i'm still working on background the black background which is, which is for the section i can add image to it as a background the column i can add image to it as a background then let me check for the um for the heading it's not possible for the heading it's not possible for the heading yeah i don't even expect it to be possible it's not possible for for the heading let me see okay let me check background there oh you can actually add it this is it so you can also add an image has the background for the heading i'm still coming to that so let me still keep working on the colon so that is that for the colon the colon as well you can pad it you can say minus as well can you see it widens it widens up so that's that you might not even need this margin or padding of it and you might not need it at all so um so now guys let me show you the line height the line height what the line height do is doing or what it does so i'm click on this to edit the heading so i'm going back to style style you know style is where we do whatever whatever i want to do concerning the text the shape the um the font size the font itself so click on typography this is the text color so um i have shown i've shown all this to us i showed us how to do all this the sizes how to increase the sizes how to decrease it so that is that let me return it back to 60 so the weights as well i've talked about it the decoration so the line heights look at it can you see it the spacing between two um line of sentence like this so that is what the line height is for can you see it as simple as that guys so that is that for the word as well this is it i think i've talked about this the other time for the letter spacing this is it this is it 
so if you don't want it just highlight on the number like this remove it highlight remove it highlight and remove it so that is that that is that so let's update so far so now guys let me work on this section and for me to be able you know the section houses this column this is section here yeah? section if i click on it you see edit section here yeah? edit section i guess my so edit section here yeah? if you click on it you see edit colon you see edit colon then if you click on this one like this this pen you see edit heading you see the edit heading so let me work on the section i want to work on the image aspect of the section now the image aspect of the section so if you want to an image to the sun let me make it visible first go to advance advance here add margin to it let me say 100 mm, no let me say um okay i need to make it visible that means i have to reduce i have to add margin to the colon or i remove the color so this is colon i'm working on colon already so let me add margin to it so that the section and um, part can be visible let me say 50 50 or let me make it 100 as you can see this section here is now visible so let me go back to section editing so i've clicked on the section editing now so let me add an image i'll go to style as the background for you guys to just see that how to add image as section background so you come down here go to image like this so once you start using the elemental page builder to build your pages you get very familiar with a lot of things so let me say i'm adding this background like this let me say i'm adding this background let's say i'm adding this background insert media can you see that is the background that is the background that is the background can you see it now that is the background so this background now this is a solid background a solid background if you want a background that you can edit the um, opacity that's the visibility to fade it out fade it in then you have to work with background overlay so let me remove this background now let's go to background overlay background overlay background let me add an image first that i'll be adding that same image this one let me add this one insert image can you see it can you see then you can make it fade off like this you can make it bright up like this you can you do you get that guys you can feel it you can so it depends on what you need it for it depends on what you actually need it for so now you can also make this picture look as if you filter it you can make it look as if you filter it so how do you do that so if you want to do something like that i would advise you to first remove this image come back to this background here add whatsoever image you want to add there add the image first then you go back to the other to the other background let's add it here first i've added it so another thing i forgot to talk about very quickly this picture you'll be wondering i added the picture the picture was full but after adding it it became half so for you to make it um fit the screen go to layout so when you get to layout you can increase the width like this no not this not this one so it should be height you can say minimum height this way 
so then you start editing it like this can you see it can you see minimum height you, you can make the image visible completely do you see it so that is that guys that is that guys so as you play around it you get to discover so many features so many features like that so let me remove it or let me just leave it that way let me leave it like that first so i was talking about making this picture this background picture look as if you filtered it let me go to style so this picture here first you can decide to um reposition it you can say center to the left can you see it you can say um bottom to the left can you see it you can see um center center can you see it so that is that for that so now let me make this picture look as if i filtered it so how do i do that you know i use this background here to add this picture so the other background i'll use it to add a color so that it looks as if i filtered the picture let me open it first I guess my network is trying to be troublesome tonight so this is it the brush click on it to be classic click on it back then click on color let me add let's see this how this looks like can you see it's looking too much right let me fade it out can you see <laughs> can you see can you see it it now looks as if you filter the picture let me add green effects to it or oh, yellow can you see it so as you use it often as you play around the elemental page builder you discover so many 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 things can you see it can you see it so i can decide to change the color let me make it blue this color i think this one is nice can you see it can you see it let me select the ticker blue can you see <laughs> so that is that guys for the color aspect of the section that is that you know i was working on the section from here so now let me work on the column picture let me click on column for you to edit the column you have to come down here click on this then this thing changes to edit column then where do we edit the um column that's to add the picture you come to let's see layout first go, go to style go to style guess my network is really 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 becoming stubborn I don't know it's not even responding at all I have to pause the video and refresh okay I think it's responding now probably from the server probably from the server it might not even be my network it could be from the server so now let me add an image to this colon so click on choose image image as as the background image as the background let me look for another image to choose let me use this particular one let me just use this one here yeah? inserts as you can see the this image has been added but it's not visible right it's not visible so for us to make it visible now let's go to advance come to advance here then let's 
let's see what padding will do can you see the padding can you see it let me see what more padding can do can you see it so now if you want to make this image completely visible that means you have to turn off the background for the um elements we added which is the heading so how do we do that click on this click on this um pen like this go back to advanced settings background this is it here background click on it then return back to default can you now see guys how did i return it back to default by just clicking on this this round arrow click on it it goes back to default it goes back to default still my network why is this tonight so let me quickly remove it so that's it that's it guys so i'll have to speed up quickly now I have to speed up quickly let me remove this column background as well click on column like this it changes to column here it changes to column then you go to style then you delete the image delete the image as you can see guys so after deleting the image i can delete the picture as well remove the picture rather this way clear can you now see so what we see now is the background for the section the section background alone because we've removed the background for the column we've removed the background for the elements which is the heading element so that is that so far guys that is that so far so i'll be dragging another element another structure i'll be adding another structure rather to show us how to come here you click on this structure you click on the structure like this then you come up here this hamburger icon you click on it then you drag whichever element you want to add to it but in this um case we'll be adding the image element so you drag it down like this drag it down then drop it make sure the blue line cuts across the screen so it please so now you can see how large it is so for you to add the image click on this image container here choose image then you select an image from your media library you select or you upload you select or you upload so you can upload for you to upload you can upload from here you can upload from here click on uploads click on select click on select it takes you to your um to your laptop folder then you choose whatever image you want to upload let me upload and you just click on whatever image you want to upload then you click on open so it's upload this it's it's uploads rather sorry <laughs> close what's this reload this page so it uploads so let me add an image to show you guys how to add an image let me add um, this beautiful image let me add this one then insert media you click on insert media as you can see how large the image is you can see how large it is so you can reduce it here change it to medium like this you can change it to medium you can make it smaller can you see then you can change it to thumbnails but the more you reduce the image size the lesser the quality would be when they load it on your website so this medium or large is recommended you understand this one is 
I think this one is even too large. You can choose the medium large. You can use the medium large. So, and if at any point you think the image you want to add should not be that big, or you want it to be on one part of the screen, you can add a structure with any column that you think would fit the positioning of the image. So let's say like this now. I'm adding this four column structure like this. Let me add it. And I want the image to be on this side of the of the page. I want it to be on this side. So I'll just click on this place. I'll come to elements like this. I'll drag an element, image element, drop it here then add an image click on it add an image as we did the other time but in this case i'll be dragging this image in case you want to change the position of your image you can move it like this with this pen then you bring it to wherever you want to drag it let me add it here i've already added something there so you see i've added it here let me remove this image container that i added the elements delete so let me bring it here like this mm. Mm -hmm. is he actually refusing to accept think is is doing shakara because I didn't put it there before let me copy and paste then the shakara would end can you see <laughs> so that is that guys for the image you can now decide to align it let me return it back to the to the other one I used so the alignments let me show you the alignment you can decide to align it to the left to the middle or to the right can you see it you can align it and you can add a link to it so whoever clicks on the image the links takes them to a particular place so now we'll be examining the styles how do you want to style it the width can you see it Can you see it? Can you see the width? So I'll not be adding a width. I'll highlight and remove the number. The max width. You see? <laughs> the height. Can you see it? Can you see? So all these things, as you continue to navigate your way through Elementor, you'd get to know them opacity how visible do you want it to be can you see can you see if you want to add border radius you can add border radius but first to make the border visible you select solid then you can add border radius border radius has to do with the edges the edges edges of whatever it is you've added so let me add 20 can you see let me make it 50 can you see the edges now they are round so you can add color to the um to this um border how do you add it click on this color like this let me say i'm adding red can you see so this red how do you want to how can you make it more v um, visible you just come to width the width of the border type let's say 10 can you see it you can say 50 it applies round 50 50 50 if I had if I had um, unchecked this link it will only take effect on the particular side let me see to the right 50 can you see it look at it here so that is that for the image that is that for the image so the advanced settings that if you want to um do some other things add margin to it you want to pad it like i explained earlier and some other effects let me show you this motion effect so whenever they loads your um, anyone loads your page 
what effects do you want the the picture to have you can say fading can you see you can say fade up can you see so that's it the advanced settings gives you um, more option to customize whatever it is whatever elements you've added can you see it border mask responsiveness this responsiveness has to do with do you want this wh whenever they load your page do you want this image to load on desktop that's if they're accessing your website through a laptop so if you say show hide on hide on desktop if you click on hide on desktop so whenever they load your page this restore should not show on laptops but it will show on tablets and mobile phones you understand so if you toggle it back it shows so you can decide to turn it off for mobile um phone users so whenever they come how do you know i'll show you whenever they visit your website via phone they won't see this image so i'll be going over to the um phone view of my um of, of the website now for you to get that you come down here responsive mode click on it click on it then come at the top here you can see how your page looks like for the desktop for tablets and for mobile so most people use mobile not even tablet is not common so you edit your websites to you optimize it for laptop and mobile so let's say on mobile like this can you see the wristwatch is faded so whenever they load your um, website on on the mobile phone the image will not show so that's it you can turn it off back so that it shows i'll be let me close it i'm going back to the main page so that is that you can get more features from the advanced settings just be careful you don't scatter your work so that is that for the image i'll be adding another structure to explain about the video add the structure here like this i've added the structure you add the structure first a single column structure then come to the hamburger button to select an element so we are working on the video element this is the video element you drag it down like this you drag it down you see so this video element you best understand is when i'm when i'm building a product sales page so from here you can add your video using four ways you can either add it through youtube that means you add your youtube link here the youtube link for that particular video you add it here you can add your video using Vimeo, the sync. You can add your video using Dailymotion, the same thing, use link, and you can self-host your image. You understand? You can self-host it. This self-hosting now has to do with you uploading um, the, the video yourself. So how do you upload the video? You are self-hosting it, you upload the video, you click on choose video like this. You click on choose video. I don't know which video is this. Which video is this? Let me play this. This one. Okay. Now let me see this one. Maybe this one has been deleted. Oh. Oh, it's even for the wristwatch. I think this is good. Let me add this one. So that's the video. The video will be uploaded now. Can you see? Let me not use this this video. I don't want to let me add another video choose a video let me add this first one here inserts you see this is the video now full video this is the video so for the video you can either self host it yourself from your website or you add an external link so you can start it as well you can start it connection lost why is all this why all this so you can start it and do several other editing like we did for the image so guys the next thing i quickly want to touch down the vital things you need to build your page is um buttons but the buttons you won't really understand the buttons now but when i build a product or when i create a product sales page you would know better how to um add buttons and edit your buttons how to add buttons but you can add a structure then 
to add buttons click on this like this then this is the button icon you drag and drop it drop it can you see this is the button you can align it this way you can align it to the left to the right to the center so you can add whatever text you want to be on it say um click here click here now you see so you can change the size of the button to large can you see it so you can add an icon to it click here we can say let me type hand okay this is good inserts can you see click here you can sp make the icon come before or after can you see but let me leave it as before you can space the icon and the text can you see it but you will learn more about this when we get to the section of creating a product landing page so style style is where you change the color style uh, the um the button style the text style the button color so this color now under the typo you can change the text do whatever it is you want to do with the button text you can increase the size can you see you can reduce the size like this so this it's loading that is why you see it blurring up so you can do every other um editing you want to do the style you can decide to line through it can you see you can decide to return it back to default you can decide to italicize it to make it italics can you see you can decide to bold in it let me say 800 can you see it is bolding up so this is where you do so many other things let me remove it let me change the button color when we get to the aspect of building a product sales page you would understand more you would understand more let me update you understand more so um guys i would be stopping the video for now so every other thing like i said whatever it is you want to learn using um the elemental page builder you have to learn it while you actively build a page you understand no amount of element i show you no amount of um navigating i show you until you start building an actual page that is when you'll be able to um do one or two things know which elements to put how to maneuver your way and you at your leisure time just make sure you find time and play around the elemental page builder environment test it imitate pages if you see any page you can try to build it but not complicated pages make sure they are simple pages try to build it this is that's how you build yourself building um, um that's how you build yourself creating landing pages so with that guys i'll be coming to the end of this particular video so catch you in the next video guys i remain Ulushala daniel thank you do have a great time